Scorpios, what's up, you sexy motherfucker? Welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We are doing your love reading for the week. I hope I'm finding you well. Welcome to our season. So let's see what you guys need to know. Remember, if the reading resonates, to so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower linked below in the description. So what's coming up for my sexy Scorps this week? What do they need to know? Okay, someone wants revenge, but they probably won't get it. Friends and betrayal. So that's great. <laughs> what is the overall that Scorpio needs to know this week? Storm warning. Okay. So someone may feel like there's unfinished business here. There may be a drunken phone call that you're not expecting. Okay. From someone that's maybe got some issues. Let's put this back over here. Let me meditate on this for a minute. You could have an old friend that feels betrayed and wants revenge that's trying to create some kind of storm in your life or um they're they're having this storm i don't feel like it's you scorpio i really don't this could be someone's ex-wife ex-baby mama too okay that always wanted that spot where you're at but can't have it maybe even an ex-girlfriend who's jealous here knocking out people's windows and shit looking crazy this could be going on while you're enjoying yourself and i feel like to the other message i'm getting is that maybe someone didn't tell you about another person and then this happens and you're like, why didn't you tell me? So let's see what this is. We got attraction, wanting more insatiable thoughts, manipula manipulation, controlling, and toxic. It's a mixed bag. <laughs> That's kind of how the cards have been lately. What's revenge? What is revenge doing here? Pain. Yeah, this person's in a lot of pain and it's not your fault. What else? Chase are coming for you, determined in pursuit. So they're upset that someone wants to come towards you, Scorpio. That's what this is about. All right. A distorted feminine could even be a masculine that's jealous of this. Okay. Because you're celebrating. I'm seeing it. This is your time for change. Celebration, good times, party or good karma party gifts. Big changes are coming. Trust the process. It could have something to do with an Aries Leo Sagittarius for some. What is friends for Scorpio this week? Let's just keep moving these so I have room. What is friends doing here? I see you celebrating and having a good time, but someone just behind the scenes acting crazy. Family provider and making the effort with longing, missing you, desiring the connection. Yes, yeah, someone misses the intimacy with you. This could be an Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn who wants this romance with you. Okay, they could have been going through a dark night of the soul, but they feel like you're a soulmate. And they want new love. This could be a secret admirer watching you and having a crush on you. Ooh. What's betrayal? What is the betrayal? What? Good karma party gifts. Healing the inner child shadow work introspection. So someone wants to apologize to you. Okay. They may feel like they have unconditional love. And this is fast movement. And this is someone who's obsessed and has been trying to manifest you for a long time. And maybe even send you telepathic messages. But they betrayed you. That's what this is about. And you're rejecting this person because you're learning to go with the flow in your life and bring in people that are more passionate and loyal towards you and your energy. So you're healed. That's why you're celebrating at this time, making people that are meant to be in your life a priority and people are missing you. But that's their own damn problem. <laughs> they shouldn't have been so spiteful. What is storm warning? What is the storm warning about this week? It says wait, wrong timing. Take action of good change. So what is this about here? Let me see. Jealousy, watching, green-eyed monster, I love you. Struggling with their self-worth, wanting to spend quality time with you, wanting a fresh start and to get on the same page and have answers and they want to reconcile, but you've already left this behind and loved yourself and you're pregnant with new ideas and new things. So this is someone too that feels telling someone to leave you alone not to come in that it's not the right time to stay away from scorpio it's not a good time to bug them yeah you could be going towards a marriage or a commitment i'm going to split the deck one more time yeah and you're not listening to someone who's trying to be manipulating or controlling and again you got someone that's very passionate and loyal towards you okay so someone is mad that someone is very loyal towards you and passionate that you've built this life around yourself and they can't come in and create this drama. It's just never going to be the right time for them. And that's something that they need to learn. Okay. 
Absolutely. All right. But I feel like it is warning you of this energy, so just make sure that you're cleansing. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what else you need to know. Yeah, you've dodged a bullet. You escaped a bad situation. You blocked negativity. You're protected from harm in someone's mind games. That is trash, okay? Not worth the effort. Not a good person. Bad reputation. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wish, wishful thinking. Deepest desires. Wishes coming true. Power to manifest. Regrouping, giving it more thought, reconsidering a higher perspective, and two-faced double life can't be trusted hiding their true self. Ooh, hoo, hoo. who in the hell? Mm. So this is someone here that is jealous of your happy outcome. Look at them. Addiction, toxicity, obsessive attachment, bad habits, patterns, harmful people or situations. And they're trying to bring this drama to your happy outcome, your clarity, your spotlight or fame. And then behind that, we have the empty heart. So this person is cold-hearted. Okay. Why do I feel like that revenge card is a feminine that's mad at a masculine because they want to come towards you even though you're not dealing with this uh, person at all? Or just a feminine that's jealous of your life because you have success? What is this? What's going on? Ooh, high priestess, inner knowing, secrets, mystery, listening to your intuition. Get it, Scorpio? Loyalty, support, deep friendship, reliability, a trustworthy companion. And then confusion, conflicted, tricky situations, hard to figure out. Yeah, this person is, is not realizing that they're not going to figure you out, okay? It's done. This person is done, especially if Scorpio said it's over. You've got this beautiful, intuitive energy and loyalty around you at this time. You are manifesting your wishes. What's at the bottom? Okay, we have um, hopeful, optimistic, inspired, clear headspace. Then we've got someone here that's at a distance, separation, needing space, and pushing away with closeness, intimacy, belonging, and mutual feelings. So this for me is like you psychically pushing someone away that you know is not supposed to be in your energy anymore. You're clearing your headspace, and you're finding what you actually want and love here. You're finding that intimacy. I'm hearing again. So some of you, yeah, you did have to leave someone who is two-faced. And they are. They're hitting rock bottom. They've even tried to use witchcraft because they realized something was over. It says very long wait. Time to reconsider losing hope. There's that distorted feminine energy. Then we have moving on. Finality, dead end, transformation, choosing to walk away. Witchcraft, curse, negative energy, constant rejection, string of bad luck. Hot and cold, mixed signals, on and off mind games. This person's done this with many people, okay? And then we got drowning, rock bottom, defeated, overextended. So whoever this person is, that's why they're trapped. And they feel like they're conflicted and they know they can't be trusted. And they know you won't trust them, Scorpio. So they're getting upset. And I wonder if someone that they're dealing with is picking up on that and they want revenge, but they can't. Like there's, it wouldn't even make sense for them to say anything to you. What is this um, high priestess inner knowing? Secrets and mystery with wish fulfillment. We have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. And then the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So this is what you healed, Scorpio. But this is also someone that's hiding and watching you. Okay, we got watching, looking, stalk lighting, focus, stalk lighting, gaslighting, <laughs> stalking, perception, focusing out, not showing their true feelings, hiding. So this is someone that's upset that you've, you're listening to your intuition and your wishes are coming true. Mm -hmm. That's all this is about. What is loyalty with this higher perspective? Hand of cards, taking a chance, risk, being strategic, not showing hand, abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and photographs. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories with have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. So I feel, you guys, someone is mad you didn't chase. They're hiding their true intentions. They're upset that you're listening to yourself. You've got abundance and unconditional love coming in because you love yourself. Now, what is this? Who's this two-faced person over here who's confused? Living a double life. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint. 
passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun in paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other with palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. What's behind that? Love call in the reverse and wedding rings with soulmate and karmic relationship stabbed in the back. So this is someone that was a karmic. Mm -hmm. They definitely did you wrong. And you have this soulmate connection that is turning into a union and this person's realizing no matter what they say or do can affect your stability at this time. Okay, I'm also getting some of you planning a trip here soon, like overseas or something. But this person, it's like their passion for you has them. The passion is so strong, they're addicted to this idea of rebuilding. And you were this person's happiness, but they misused your, your love, Scorpio. So what is this closeness and intimacy? What is the closeness and intimacy with clear head space? The palm tree, stability, growth, security endurance flexibility and then seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third-party interference which we saw this person at a distance and then the coffin endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation and transition with talking interested conversing more text call email hovering with relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth which is the part of the reading that we saw here and this person again is being blocked i feel like you do have this person blocked you push them away completely scorpio and this is making me think of scorpio season where you know when it's done it's done especially if you found out that this person did have a third party in your midst Mm hmm so get ready because I do feel like you're going to be excited about this new person but again like I always warn you guys because it is hard for us to let go sometimes don't let it affect the new connection okay don't let it bleed into the new connection and feel like you can't trust this person keep listening to your intuition because you're dead on I feel like that's a message that's been coming out for like a couple weeks for you guys your intuition is very heightened let's look at the tarot scorpio let's see what does scorpio need to know this week for themselves and what's coming towards them in love first looking at you you got judgment Mm -hmm. you're on point right now this is like a huge awakening i feel like you are ascending and then the four of pentacles in the reverse. You're not going to have to worry about money or finances at this time. I feel like you're not being greedy. You're not controlling. You're not materialistic. You're releasing the need to control things. Someone here knows you're walking away. Eight of cups. And they want to communicate. They want to tell you something here. They want to try to pull you back. But they also see a lot of good things happening for you since you walked away for them, from them. We got the double here, trying to pull and manipulate and confuse my Scorpio. What's behind that? The Ace of Wands. They could be using sexual manipulation. But you're, again, dodging a bullet, averting disaster here. It could be with a Virgo. But this could also be someone, too, that doesn't want to feel left out anymore. They don't want to think about it, so they're trying harder and harder. The Six of Wands. Lots of success. Damn, Scorpio. Hmm. I'm just checking the top. Justice with the Nine of Cups. This is yours. This is your wish fulfillment. Make a wish, my loves. This is all yours. What's the outcome? The Nine of Swords in the reverse. We will take it. Okay. Why the Nine of Swords in the reverse? I feel like there's some kind of good news coming in with money or a choice that you've made here, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles in the reverse with the Ten of Wands. It's like that that need to release the control of worry and disappointment and letting burdens fall where they may and getting some kind of news here that's going to get you out of your head. Five of Swords for sure. One more on the Nine of Swords for the outcome. The Nine of Wands. Jeez. Okay. So there was someone trying to slow your progress here, this Queen of Swords in the reverse, but they can't. Okay, they're the ones being stalled. This is a very manipulative energy. This is probably the narcissist here who feels trapped. They could be a Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, but I feel like there's nothing that they could do to stop this at all. They might have been determined to do this, but they can't. Okay. They've lost control. They have too much doubt. And they're at a crossroads because you're getting some kind of an opportunity at this time. They could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius in the reverse or just a player, okay, with the King of Wands in the reverse. But you're getting this offer and they're not. 
something isn't balanced with their finances and so they're upset that you're getting something here this could even be a gift a date um a proposal for some of you yeah someone can't heal their mind it's like they have mental disorder and they're not working well either they've got a lot of depression and you're getting this ten of cups it's like they see this success for you. For some of you, I'm hearing someone tried to sell their soul for fame. This person would sell their soul for fame. And the more that you detach yourself from things, the more that you get. And it upsets this person that you're not in your head about something. Ugh. <laughs> but look, I feel like this Nine of Wands is you showing your strength, your determination your willpower to overcome anything that tries to bring you any insomnia or fear or worry you're dealing with it head on and it does have something to do with your judgment right now the choices that you're making your self-realization the way that you're reflecting the need to release having materialistic things or too many people in your life to feel fulfilled okay so what is judgment with the four of pentacles here for scorpio this week in the reverse the six of cups You've released the past. You're also, I feel like, healing that inner child at the bottom. we got the Ace of Wands. You're, you're inspired at this time. Um, you're in harmony and happiness right now, Scorpio. Tell me more. Death. Oh my gosh, you are coming out, Scorpio, today with the world at the bottom. And you have overcome some things. You've closed the chapter on whatever mind games are being played with you. Okay could also be a soulmate connection for some of you guys with the six of cups but major transformations this season that are bringing you into happiness what's the four of pentacles the wheel of fortune victory will be yours okay if people were trying to compete they can't all right you're kind of like okay you're not even paying attention to these people over here that are trying to come in and create a mess because they're disappointed or they're 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 trying to create this like competition around you and i just see you overcoming all of this with judgment in the six of wands because you're making those wise choices you've had this awakening and renewal in your life so the wheel's spinning in your favor yep i'm just checking the top of the deck nothing important so just know that this wheel is coming in. It's spinning in your favor, especially with people from the past. They're being pushed out if they brought in any kind of negative energy or if they're projecting towards this new success in your life. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm also hearing that, on a positive note, that by Capricorn season, you're going to have a lot of abundance and success coming in, a lot of recognition, public rec recognition. What's the Eight of Cups with the Eight of Wands over here? Who's this person? What do they want? The star. They want to heal something with you, Scorpio. Or they see that you're healed now that you've walked away. Ten of Swords. Yep, you ended it. You're done. There's something that needed to end here. Could have been with an Aquarius. It does not have to be. Um, some of you could just have that in your chart. But you're healed now that you've walked away. And yes, you might still have scars on your heart from this or your mind. It may have conflicted you for a while, but I like how you've healed yourself. That's what Scorpios do, baby. At the bottom, we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. It's like you weren't going to let people come in and manipulate your emotions. Some of you just got back to work, did what you had to do, nose to the grind, and you still end up finding the love you want in the end. And someone needs to realize this. What's the Eight of Wands? What does this person want to communicate? The Emperor. So this is your Divine Masculine coming in. Okay, what's at the bottom? The Queen of Wands in the reverse, the Eight of Cups in the reverse, the World in the reverse. This could be someone you're not even thinking about anymore. Okay, we have gotten what? The King and the Queen of Wands in the reverse today. Ugh, this could be someone who is trying to come towards your Divine Masculine. Okay, because the King of Pentacles is usually the married man, the domestic one who wants a family, a home to build. So this could even be you where um, if you're the masculine, there is this feminine that still can't walk away from you. But this person is a H-O-E. Okay. They're very jealous. They're manipulative. Um, how else? They're very dishonest for one. So they spread a lot of lies. They're emotionally discontent. So they have a lot of regret, but they're stagnant. They won't complete this cycle. But you're not even thinking about them. Nine of Swords in the reverse. I'm seeing it right here. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, you're balanced at this time. For some of you, this could be an ex-lover who you're not even thinking about. Like I said, you're not competing. You're not trying to have conflict with them. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Six of Wands in the reverse. Strength in the reverse. Sun in the reverse. This is somebody who's very mentally unstable. And also jealous of your finances or someone that you're going to be getting engaged or married to. King of Cups and the Lovers when I split the deck. So there you are, Scorpio. You're manifesting new partnerships in business and in love. Maybe someone is realizing they're not the star like you <clears throat> with the Emperor and the star. And that's something that they're doing needs to end. They need to release this attachment to having the same success as you. That's what I'm seeing as well. Like, they have to let that go. Yeah, because they are somewhat attached here, I feel, with the same man I'm getting. Someone really was trying to play in your headspace. What's the devil? The Five of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. Queen of Cups. Because you're healed, this doesn't affect you. Okay, but there could be a Capricorn here that was trying to, like... Create some kind of mental instability in your life here with the sun. This person wanted you to, to receive some kind of news or they wanted you to be kicked out of some kind of circle or I'm hearing family dynamic for some of you by some kind of manipulation tactic. But this message is coming in very fast for them. This Knight of Swords does not F around. Okay, so whoever this devil is that's been trying to play in your energy is screwed okay I'm trying not to swear but you know what i really want to say they are okay and they're going to have a lot of worry and fear and they do feel left out and i feel like this person's wishing they would have treated you better damn one more on this knight of swords with the five of pentacles the queen of wands yeah i feel like this is you guys like this glow up you're going through right now and some of you, if you're into the feminine, this new attractive woman coming into your life that you're going to have a success with. But I feel like if you are the feminine, you are looking amazing with this six of wands. People want to hear what you have to say. You could be on stage. You could be in the spotlight at this time. Okay. You have a lot of creative power and determination and it's paying off with the wheel of fortune. So what's the six of wands? The king of swords. You're making good choices at this time. Eight of Pentacles, you're working very hard, you're releasing burdens, Ten of Wands. And it could be a lot of hard work you had to do to get there. And that's why you're making these wise decisions now. Okay, I want one more on the King of Swords. The Six of Wands, again, you guys, you stop it. So again, lots of success, people liking what you're doing at work or whatever you're like whatever field you're in you're being celebrated and i like how he's kind of looking over his shoulder at this wheel of fortune and your transformation scorpio look at all your cards are here judgment six of cups death wheel of fortune releasing the need so some of you it was like i'm not doing this just for the money i'm doing this because this is what i want to do creatively this is the message i want to get out there knight of swords and five of pentacles if i don't get what i want out of it that's fine um but the devil energy was there kind of like maybe fucking with your head a little bit. And I do feel like this was someone else's projections that wanted something to end for you or for you to emotionally walk away from this success and you haven't. What is the nine of swords in the reverse with the nine of wands upright for Scorpio this week? The queen of swords. The two of cups. And the four of wands. Who is this heartbroken energy here? We have the Seven of Wands in the reverse, the Fool in the reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone is heartbroken that they couldn't stop this growth. Do you see what I'm seeing here? It's like, oh, why couldn't I stop Scorpio from having this Ten of Cups and a new beginning in money? And this could very well be what a fake high priestess. Someone could have went to a fake high priestess here. Um, who abuses their power or someone that was trying to mock your energy but has no idea what the hell they're doing with the nine of wands in the reverse they knew they had to give up and that they couldn't mock your energy here especially with the seven of wands they don't have the same fight as you okay and they're not getting what they want out of it so they're being forced to stop whatever this is mm -hmm. capricorn taurus virgo maybe another water sign or an aries okay Possible Pisces. 
but because you make these wise decisions, because you're in that clear headspace, you're manifesting love and stability at this time. You're achieving your goals. That's why I love this card so much. It's a beautiful castle and it represents safety, achievement, meeting your goals. You have the Ace of Cups here, which is about intuition, relationships, having your emotions in check with another person. And then this beautiful Queen of Swords. People come to you for advice. People want to know what you have to say. You're very intelligent and you have wise objective. Mm -hmm. So you've really stood your ground this week. And I feel like the wheel is spinning in your favor at this time. Some people might not be happy about it, but screw them. And this is good news about your finances coming in again. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. So this is going to happen fast. It's going to make you very happy. I'm definitely taking this Eight of Wands. They're like, put it here. So I'm putting it here. Because whatever this is, it's happening quickly. I feel like this negative energy is moving out fast, which is like the other reading I had. So please go check that out for the collective. It's beautiful. Let's get your tea leaves. What else is coming for Scorpios this week? What messages do you have for Scorpios? Scorpios. You guys know I'm a perfectionist. I cannot help it. Like, what are you doing there? <laughs> What's coming towards Scorpio this week? Oh, I got two here. We got, ooh, someone working against you or behind your back. Seek out information that will help. The dirty rat says you will be playing a different role. Ooh. It says you are on the road to success. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Scorpio, what do they need to know this week? Ooh, that one flew out. We have successfully overcoming a problem, so they might have tried, but no. And then new opportunities and possibilities. Paths are opening up at the bottom, you guys. We have the rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over, and it could have something to do with troubling accusations or gossip, maybe around your career or your job, but you could be getting a new opportunity here, and this will be a successful outcome to your problems. So they keep saying there's a successful outcome, successful outcome for Scorpio, okay? What's at the top? Ooh, honor and respect will come to you. Damn. And I felt that with the emperor and the star, for sure. So don't worry about this dirty ass rat back here who's like out here trying to cause problems for your career or your love life. All right, that's not for you to worry about. They need to worry about themselves. You're overcoming any kind of obstacles this week and getting new opportunities with the rainbow. You are done with the most difficult part of a situation. Okay, good. What is hidden? What is this malicious energy trying to hide from Scorpio? Keeping tabs, creeping on the low, observing closely, staying connected. They're penny pinching, financial struggle, saving up, budgeting. Well, they shouldn't have been watching you. Bullshitting, deception, fake it to make it, dishonesty. Mm -hmm. Graduation day, leveling up, lessons learned, acquired wisdom. People are seeing you move forward big time here. Oh, now they want to throw hands because they're mad about their money, disagreements, hostility, animosity, conflict, and fighting. And you're adulting and they know that they're still immature so mature efforts being responsible keeping everything in check this is someone that keeps comparing themselves to your success scorpio and they need to quit and it is about money we got a hookup fling friends with benefits non-committal this could have been someone you used to deal with in the past scorpio that's watching you ascend and knows they can't come in but they're keeping tabs now they're body shaming you, Scorpio, because <laughs> they got nothing else to talk about. Low self-worth, negative body image, feeling judged. And this person's still a player, playing the field, not looking to settle and seeking options all the time. We have reading up, doing the research, learning more, gaining insight, stalker vibes, obsessive interest, fatal attraction, and revealing secrets, cats out of the bag, untrustworthy. And it's because of your level up that people are shaking their heads because they thought you'd be a doormat, but you're a badass. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about, my loves. They really are kicking themselves in the ass now. And they need to find something else better to do. Okay. All right. Let's get some love messages here. Where'd I put that deck at? Oh, here it is, here it is. All right. The 
Who's coming up for Scorpios this week? What do you want them to know, angels? We have haunted. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else. Release. When they set when they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. And endings. They entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. This is giving such Halloween vibes right now. <laughs> we got the Grim Reaper and the ghost. Tell me more. Building an empire. They see how they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy, only holding them back from love. So there's that's where that jealousy is coming from. We got the awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection and serendipity. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together. Mm. I'm getting gold digger vibes too off of someone and that's why it was time for them to get out of your energy, Scorpio. Anxiously waiting. They, t they search for you and everything, feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. Passion ignited. Their intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. Mm. And then love is a fire. You've set their heart on fire in the... In the soul burning un and unquenchable, it's a natural and undeniable connection. And it's like this spiritual awakening and your energy is draining them because they won't let go. We got exhausted. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. Coming apart, meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their old identity. And divine blueprint they're going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and this connection <laughs> you got this person like not even understanding who they are anymore with the gods favor you now is the time your prayers have been heard and you will succeed and be vindicated okay so whatever you were going through scorpio just know that the gods favor you and you are getting what you want out of this okay now i want to pull a few of these and then we will go to all signs. Actually, I got to pull your advice cards, but first we'll do a couple of these. So, what is coming towards Scorpio this week? What do you want them to know, angels? I cannot today. It is like actually driving me insane. What is coming towards Scorpio this week? It says patience. Pati patience is required. Trust the process. Manifest. We create a reality by what we think, dream, and imagine. So be patient. Manifest what you want this time. Scorpio. Says gratitude. There are many things to be grateful for. Some you know of and some you may not. Say thank you for all of it. So spirit is definitely sending you a big gift here with the wheel. And I feel like you've been patient. You've been manifesting this and now it's finally happening. And then we got ending. Remember endings are merely transformations, which of course Scorpio knows that, right? So you're going to have gratitude for whatever's ending and you've been patient about because something better is coming in for you. Let's get one more. What is coming in for Scorpio with this ending and this transformation? Abundance. Abundance is around you. Remember, abundance comes in all shapes and forms. Okay advice and we're just going to pull two of these so what's the advice for scorpios this week one two all right so it says guided lessons your higher self is guiding you to make mistakes so you can learn important lessons and the call of the void there's a candle in your heart ready to be rekindled all you have to do is acknowledge the void so you can heal properly Mm-hmm. So I do feel it's about transformation again because this is the season that we're in. But you've done a lot of this work, I think, through like Libra season, Virgo season, and it's all manifesting now. And you're like reaping your rewards, my loves. Mm-hmm. So let's put these over here and go to all signs. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna shuffle so you guys know they're not predetermined. Scorpio and all of the signs. What do they need to know about them at this time? Scorpio. 
Scorpio and all of what this means. Oh, whoa, hey. Healing work came out with I can't move on. Hmm. So I definitely feel like that's someone else, not you. Scorpio and all of the signs. What do they need to know? Okay, my love. Starting with Aries, we have got love is in the air with sexually in sync. Great sex, mutual sexual desire. And their message is, I, I'm really looking forward to see where this is going. Leo, both acting like brats. Trust your intuition, your right, strong intuition. With the way that I feel for you scares me, you don't realize the control you have over me. With Sag, we have amazing chemistry and third party involved, friend, family, other lover interfering. And I'm doing me, so you do you. Scorpio and Aquarius, we have special to me. Making the effort, working things out, doing the work. And my heart drops every time I hear that song playing, I immediately think of you. Scorpio and Libra, we have now or never last chances with bad habits, repetitive bad patterns, no change. And I'm thinking about introducing you to my family. <laughs> oh, Gemini and Scorpio, we have negative thoughts about you with surface level bond together for the wrong reasons. This is someone they're dealing with. And it says, my children are my priority and their happiness means everything to me, even if it means me being unhappy. Sounds like someone's stuck in a marriage. Um, Capricorn, you've got sneaky with making it official, getting serious, no games, and I'm crushing on you. Taurus, you've got advice. Or, I mean, Scorpio and Taurus, you got advice. And find you attractive, physical attraction and beauty. So watch out for this, Capricorn, Scorpio. And if you're dealing with a Taurus, they're asking about you to someone else. And then it says, I know I did you dirty, not a day goes by that I don't think about how much I hurt you. Scorpio and Virgo, we have got flirting with happy times ahead, successful outcome, all is well. And I have an addiction and I've spiraled. I can't let you see me like this. Scorpio and a Cancer, we have in it to score with friends first, no rush, casual dating, slow growth. And I get so nervous thinking about how I'm going to propose. I want to make you my wife or husband. Scorpio and Pisces, we have DMs and double tap likes with call or text, expression, conversation, information, and I really like you. Ooh. Scorpio and a Scorpio, we have got the trickster with avoiding escapism, not facing reality, depression, and I really want to reach out, but the fear of rejection is real. So they're like into you, but they're playing with your emotions. It's like, no. All right, what's everyone getting at the bottom of the deck? Let's check it out. We've got kept selfies, affairs and connections, and male running with hush hush, dirty and messy, and you walking away. You've been divinely guided. <laughs> then we have silly games, playing hard to get, being a tease, holding back, resisting connection, closed off, and isolated and alone, lonely, retreating, closed off. So whoever this person is that ran, let them run. And then it says, thinking of you, daydreaming of you, missing you, playing the field, cheater, player, keeping things um, open. And then we've got compatibility, mutual desire. So see, as you walk away, this person, it's they keep it quiet that they think about you, but it's for your highest good anyway that you're stepping into this new connection coming up. And then it says, I talk to my friends about you all the time. I have something to something to confess to you, and I know you're going to like what I have to say. Someone could be reaching out over social media, and it says, I'm looking for a committed relationship. I'm ready to settle down and have a family. Right. So this was someone that ran in the past, but I feel like this is what you told them, and that's why. And then the last three cards we have here are, to be honest, I'm not trying to catch any feelings. I'm an opportunist. If I see an opportunity from someone, I'm going to take it, and it's like all of a sudden I see you in everything I do. So that's this person's karma because they were an opportunist to begin with, okay? So I hope you got some messages out of the Scorpio that will help you this week. I love, love, love you guys. Bye.